Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to bed. Come on in. There, there's lots of, there's lots of room. Get up. C- come on and and get uh, c- cozy. C- come on and get cozy with me. We're we're getting we're getting cozy. We're getting familiar. We're getting. You know, let's get snuggly. Hey. It's nighttime, but it's not nighttime. Not when I'm feeling f- filming this, and maybe not even when you're uh, uh, watching or listening to this. But it's nighttime somewhere, man. It's nighttime somewhere. If you're in space, is it technically just night forever? Does that make sense? If you're in space, because you're not on one side of the sun or the other, is it just forever? It's just night. But it's not night because it's just space. Is it? I mean, word-wise. I mean, I know it's, you know, it's, it's just a whole different thing and these are just words, but is that technically true or if if there's still a sun and you're in say like a spaceship is it just night where i mean i guess there are no windows right you don't have windows do you have do rockets have windows i know i am obviously not a rocket scientist i know little to nothing about rockets or much else do rockets let's get that let's 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 get it trending let's trend it let's get it trending do rockets have windows this is going straight to nasa are you nasa are you listening i want answers do rocket ships have windows and if so and light wait because could light even come in like with no atmosphere i don't know i obviously didn't I only paid attention in biology. That's the only science class I paid attention to. I don't know shit about chemistry. I don't know shit about uh, space or geometry. Um, Shit. Since I learned the planets, we got rid of one. Thanks, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, But... which I guess, you know, that's just, things change. That's science, you know. But I'm asking, I'm begging you as a complete fool. I, I need answers. Does, if there are windows, does light come in? To this, to this, to this space. Are there, question one, are there windows? Question two, if there are windows, does the sunlight come in? Question three. If the sunlight does come in, is any part of the rocket ship, spaceship, whatever you want to call it, is any part of that that's not touching light, that there is no sunlight, would that be called nighttime? Uh, Because essentially nighttime is just we're on the op, we're just we're on the side that the sun just isn't hitting. We're just on the shadow part. So it. So, if you're an ant and I walk in front of your little ant home and the shadow hits that part, is it technically night? Is night technically just shadow? These are the big questions we're asking here on the Oyasumi podcast. Welcome, by the way, to the Oyasumi podcast. Um... Let's let's do the countdown. Each. Neat. Sun. Oyasumi. Good night. Welcome to the nighttime podcast that you can listen to at any time of the day or on any part of the spaceship you want or in your little ant home. Um, if ants 
have ears. Apparently, I didn't even pay much attention in biology. Do ants have ears? If you're a biologist, comment below or what have you. Email me. I don't know. I need to create an email for this, actually, so that people can email me. I don't know. Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining joining us. Let's just, at the top of the show, let's check in. How are you doing? Are you doing good? I hope so. I hope you're doing good. I, uh, I wish you good mental health. Um, I've been, I've been doing okay these past couple days. I've been doing okay. And, uh, if you've been listening, you know that very recently, uh, very, very, you know, I, I, I have been doing not so hot. Um, but I'm doing, you know, we'll see. I'm at a, we'll see space. So let's check it. You know, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Take a second. I want you to take a second and, and I'm going to do it too here. Uh, I want you to take a second and just kind of like check in with yourself. See how you're doing. What did that voice inside you say? I wonder in well, let me take one more second. Let me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my body's telling me I'm okay. Uh, do a quick body scan if you like. Are there is there any any uh, is there any awarenesses in your do, like? I have. There's a little bit of. There's a little bit of a headache right here in this, the, the, the back of the neck and then, and then up here. So I've got that going on for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Anyway, basically I just hope you're doing good. Um, I'm coming at you a little bit later than I wanted to. I had some stuff to do. I had to be, uh, locked into a chamber and uh sent to uh dizzying altitudes i'll explain more about that on another podcast maybe but uh just know that i was locked i was in a chamber i I was locked in a chamber and i uh i was at a different altitude technically uh so since we last talked since last we talked, the CDC came out and said it is cool in most circumstances uh, to walk around like outside and even inside in some cases if you if you have the vaccine, which is dope. Um, there, I, I don't have the vaccine yet. I'm excited to get it. I've just been busy with work and with life and with having full blown breakdowns and with, you know, so, um, that's, I'm getting, I'm getting it. It's it's on the horizon for me, but so the CDC came out and they said, I don't, really, I, I, that's basically what they said. And so now <clears throat> I go to work and there's like a lot of people not wearing your mask. It's wearing the mask. And let me tell you something. It's a, how do I say this? It's a. It's, I got whip. It's like, it's whiplash because it it got to the point where I swear to God, I, we watch movies and there'll be a scene in a crowded place and I get anxiety because I'm like, no one's wearing a mask. Everyone's going to get COVID. 
and then I, oh no, this was shot in 2007. So they're good. But yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting. We'll see. Basically we'll see. Hopefully everything is, I just, I would, I just wish health on people. That's, that's all we can do. Um, I'm still out there masking up, but I don't have the vaccine yet. <sighs> but again, it's, it's around the corner. I'm getting, I'm getting that shit shot in me the first second I get. And then again, a couple weeks later. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's. It's a weird feeling out there. Uh, it's weird outside. There's like, are we getting back to some sort of uh, of normalcy? People are going out. They're they're feeling out other people. Where are we at? Where are we at on this? And it's it's so weird because it's, I mean, a global pandemic, a global around the world, the globe, right? Whether it's nighttime or daytime, the globe. It's crazy. So, I mean, I I, I, already, I know I already said let we'll see like three times, but I I don't know what else to say. But we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, I just you know. I trust the science, whatever that is. I'm a fucking idiot. And you know this because I, I don't know if rocket ships have windows. I feel like that's a fair question though. I'm not a rocket scientist. I hope someone that listens to this is, I don't know. I, again, I wish everyone health. And I want everyone to just try to manifest a, a good day today. Just try to try to just I'm going to have a good day today. Let, I'm going to try to manifest it, too. Let's do it together. We're going to have a good day today. You and me. And whoever you're with, if you're with someone, if you're listening to this in the car, watching this in the car. Drive safe. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if this isn't going to be a good episode. We'll see. I hope so. I think every episode's a good episode because we're together. Anyway, so <clears throat> I saw a meme the other day that had me had me thinking, and it was it, the meme. The meme said. Uh, the the meme said what I was playing when I was a kid, and it was a picture of GTA Five, and then it was the below it it said what kids nowadays are playing, and it was a picture of GTA Five, and it had me thinking how how long has GTA GTA Five has been around a long time, even though to me as a, an older person it. Fe- it feels like a couple just two years ago, but I don't think that's true. In fact, I think it's been like over half a decade since GTA five came out, maybe less, maybe a little less, maybe a little more half a decade, give or take. And it, you know, it does still have this bit, you know, a lot of, a lot of, it does still have traffic, and I never, you know, I played it a little bit. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I never finished the game. I bought it for my little brother for his, uh, for Christmas one year, when it came out, the first year it came out. I think I want to say I got it for him, and someone else got it for him. So he got two copies, and then he took one copy to GameStop, and got something else, but. I want to say I got him GTA 
five. And uh, apparently that's a long time ago now because that that meme rung true. Because I do feel like I see a lot of kids playing it like on on uh, Twitch and what have you. But the reason I brought it up is because we've been waiting. I, I, I know I, I've been waiting for a GTA 6 for a long time. Um, and I feel like I, I will play this one and I think I will get five and, and like finish it and see what's up and, and mess around with it because I loved GTA two. I love GTA four. Those were, those were my shit. And I just, I, I just, I never owned five. So I never played it a lot, a little bit, but here and there, but not a whole heck of a lot. Rockstar announced that we are getting updated versions of GTA 5 for for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S, which has people wondering, well, wait, when are we actually going to get a GTA 6? Because this implies that they're focusing on the updated version of five and we're just not going to get six for a while, which very, very well may be. I'm still waiting for a new elder scrolls game, but also like also, and I kind of get this. I kind of get why they would focus on five. It was such a good game. I love Skyrim and I would love another update for Skyrim, but I would also love another Elder Scrolls game. Or even, like, Oblivion, but an updated version of Oblivion. So, like, I get why they would focus on 5. It worked. People are still playing it. If people are still playing it, then then why not uh, have them play it for a little while longer and then do GTA 6 down the road? I get it. I would also like to see a new game. And that goes for you, Elder Scrolls. That goes for you, Bethesda, if that is your real name. By the way, and by the way, didn't Xbox buy Bethesda? I feel like I saw that. I'm pre- You heard it here a couple months late, but I think Xbox bought Bethesda. And now I think uh, Elder Scrolls and... That other one that I don't play, Fallout, are now Xbox exclusives, which adds to my reasons to be Team Xbox. Even though, look, Xbox, PlayStation 5, Switch, Nintendo, Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, I'm there for all of them. I I haven't been one side or the other since the Xbox 360 versus the Xbox the PlayStation 3. I was adamantly for Xbox 360 versus the the uh the PlayStation 3. I did not like I did not like the way it looked the PlayStation three, but there were some pretty dope games that came out. So I kind of wish that I like, I never, the last of us, for example, which I think is getting a movie. I'm pretty sure they started filming uh, the last of us movie. Um, so there might be a, Oh, there might be a whole onslaught of video games movie, which, by the way, I'm down for. I think they're making a Lara Croft 2, a Tomb Raider 2, which I'm down for. I liked the uh, I liked the first movie. It wasn't as good as I had hoped it would be, but it was still good, and I still enjoyed it, and I still wanted more. So, why do you like movies that are terrible? I don't know. I like stuff. I'm a fan of stuff. Okay? And when I'm a fan of something...
I'm a fan. I like stuff. I don't listen, or I try not to listen to what other people say about a thing. And I watch it for my own damn self and make my own damn opinions. And I feel like some people get too caught up in what, like, YouTubers are saying about about Mortal Kombat or what the video game website are saying about this movie or game or whatever. I don't care. I don't care why you hate a thing. I care why I like a thing. It's just, it's silly. It's silly to listen to that shit. I like Attack of the Clones. Go fuck yourself. I like Attack of the Clones. Eat my asshole. And I'm not talking about the TV show. I'm talking about the movie. I like both. Okay? I forgot where I was going with that. And by the way, what Xbox should be focusing on besides acquiring Bethesda, which is cool, is making more goddamn Xboxes so I can fucking buy one. I I check all the time. And I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to buy someone that someone scalped. I don't want to buy one that someone scalped for even even if it's a good deal. I want to buy it retail. Okay? Because I don't like that you scalped it and took away my chance to fucking buy it retail. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm fucking crazy for that. I don't know why I want to buy it retail. It could be cheaper in other avenues I just think I have no reason for it I don't know what I think speaking of movies Shrek holy shit Shrek we're talking about the big green ogre that's a 20 year old movie now I think today Shrek is this Shrek the movie is 20 I remember seeing that shit in theaters I was a wee lad and God, it was such a good movie. I, I that that's all I have to say about that. I, Truck is twenty years old. It's a good movie. How do you like this? I thought I'd get a little bit more comfortable. I thought I'd get, get a little bit more comfortable for the last last quarter of the last quarter of this pod. Do you like my pose? How about my plushies? That's Avery back there, the duck. I don't know what uh, this one's name is, but I think they're cute. Anywho, what was I going to talk about, man? It's been a long week. It's been a really long week. And do you know what's helped getting getting through it is a little art therapy. I, uh, I drew a snail. I drew some colors. And by drew some color, I put some, at break, what I've been doing, essentially, is I bought a, whatever, the 160 pack of crayons, and I've been just coloring on uh, sketch paper. And that's been, that's been helping me get through the, get through the days a little bit lately, because it's just been, it's been long days long weeks oh well fucking boohoo right so you know i don't know it's just important to remember that art and expressing yourself with colors or with a microphone talking into a camera crafting crafting can be helpful in in self-soothing i guess so that's important to remember. And that's why I tried to actively do it this week is because it's good to remember. I don't know. I'm almost out of coffee. I don't like that. I'm losing the wind in my sails. I'm going to be honest with you. This whole COVID thing, man, has been pretty, it's been a mountain of problems. And 
I don't know. I guess in the grand scheme of things, uh, I'm doing okay. But it's uh, it's been a journey. It's been a long journey. It's been, and it's you know, again, it's not over, but uh, yeah, it's just been a long journey. I'm out of coffee now. God damn it. I want to ask you a question and this question is going to lead into next week's top five, which is going to be a top six. I might have two top fives, one of them being a top six, because I did say that this week I would have um, the top five. underrated Disney films ready but I don't have that for you today I didn't even think about it after I said that but next week how about this and I want to know and for when I do this for me when I release my top five I want you to think about your uh, your top six when I release the, the next week's video if you could choose Six Pokemon, not legendary, out of all the generations. Six Pokemon. What are are your six Pokemon? Which six Pokemon, all generations, no legendaries, would you choose? Who would be in your six? It's kind of hard to whittle down. And, And don't. Don't go based on stats, who's stronger, no stats, no who's stronger, no, no, uh, no picks for, for, for strength or no picks because, uh, you know, of stats or strength or what, what have you only just which Pokemon do you just love and which six Pokemon do you love and and w- would be your your six if I guess if it were real or just top six no legendaries no picks for power just favorites it could be because it's your favorite color it could be because it's always been your favorite I've been a Squirtle fan since I was a wee lad. I always liked Poliwag. I don't think it'd be in my top six. I'm going to think about that. And if that that question interests you, I want you to think about it if you'd like. I don't know, man. I'm I'm really running out of steam. I'm going to get a cup of coffee and I might do some more. Okay. I don't mean to always talk about stuff that happened like three weeks ago, but I'm not in a lot of worlds. Does that make sense? I'm not in a, I'm not in a lot of bubbles. I'm in my own bubble. And I think my bubble's pretty cool, but I don't exist I don't exist in a lot of uh new bubbles. I want to. I should I, I should actively try. But like I don't know again, I don't know who like Ariana Grande is. So I I was on Twitter this morning and you know how you get into like little rabbit holes, you see something and you go, "Oh, what's this?" and you, you suddenly um find yourself somewhere else. Well, I somehow got onto the Jake Paul fight that happened a couple of weeks ago. And I got into Pete Holmes's so apparently Pete Holmes hosted this thing. And again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't really know who Jake and Logan Paul are. I've heard their names. They're obviously huge in something and I don't I think they vlog, I think is what they do. Um and I know they have a, a massive following 
I don't know much more than that. Besides uh, the, this boxing match that happened with uh, one of them, Jake, I think. And so I was watching this. Um, Pete Holmes talking to Jake Paul, right? And he's like, it was a really, it was a really strange and awkward conversation. And they, Jake Paul had all these guys with him. And then he, Pete Holmes talked to the opponent boxer. I don't know his name. I'm not going to pretend to. I, ju- I again just saw this in passing a couple minutes ago. And he was kind of like, fuck that guy. I hope you win. And I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Uh, because I, I wasn't aware. Like, I don't. I just don't care. Because I don't know. I don't know who these. I have no emotional investment in these people whatsoever. Uh, I'm kind of interested, though. I want to find out who who these people are a little bit. Because it is such a big thing. And I have zero cult re- reference to it. I have z- zero reference to who I I listened to a podcast by uh Chris DiStefano, um a comedian that I um I enjoy. I heard a podcast that he did from I think Logan Paul's house cuz I I think he's friends with one of them, Logan or Jake. I don't I don't know. I don't know the difference between them. Are they twins? I don't know, but, um, I don't know. He seems kind of douchey. This, this Jake Paul seems like a little bit of a douche from the little I've seen of him, but I don't know. And I don't know what the, why am I talking about something? I don't know. I found it interesting. That's why, because, uh, I know a little bit more about Pete Holmes as he's, you know, a comedian and everything. But it was just an awkward, the whole thing was awkward. And I didn't see the fight or anything, but apparently what it was is Paul won, whichever Paul won. Uh, but I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm, I just I just saw a little snippet of something and I thought it was interesting. So I guess I thought I'd share, but you know what? I'm I might I, I'm gonna have to research this. I don't know who these people are or what they do. But uh seem a little douchey. But again, I'm just some they ha, they have more followers than I'll ever have. I'm just some guy I don't I'm doing a podcast from bed. I'm surrounded by plushies, which I love. But to a lot, that may seem a little fucking silly. So maybe what seems silly and a little douchey to me maybe isn't from a different perspective. Or is the general consensus that this guy's a douche? I don't know. I think that's the podcast, man. I don't, I, I don't, I, uh, I'm going to come at you next week, next Tuesday. Uh, I appreciate, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining us. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. me. Good night.